in this lesson, I want to go ahead and render out our axe. So here I got the key shot open. And first thing I want to do is I'm just going to click import here on the bottom. And as you can see in the OBJ folder of the projects file, I already exported the axe. Now before I import, I want to make sure that I keep the individual parts in the materials folder. And the rest of the settings seem to be correct, so just click import. So here I got my axe, and as you can see, it's slightly um, uh, rotated the wrong way around. So I'm going to go into my projects folder. Just going to select my axe and click the position, and I'm just going to add negative 90 degrees on the angle here. And another thing I want to do is I just want to go in here in the camera settings, and I'm just going to add a new camera. And let's just focus our camera to the right angle here. Perhaps just zoom out a little bit. There we go. Looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit less angle here. And that looks pretty good to me. And I'm just going to go ahead and lock this camera. So now we can go into our library here. And before I go uh, and start playing with the materials, what I want to do is I'm just going to click this button here and import. And if you go to the colors uh, section here, I would import the black backdrop and I'm just going to drag it onto the back here. And just going to rescale the uh, window here. So let me just unlock the camera and just frame the axe a little bit better. Here we go. Let's just lock it back. So that looks pretty good already. Now, first thing I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and render out this just grayscale sort of uh, pass as my first pass here. So I'm going to click render here. And I'm just going to select name. Just going to bring it to the uh, folder. I'm just going to select the folder. And I'm just going to go to the key shot passes folder here. And I'm going to add gray v01 underscore pass. Select folder. And I'm just going to write key um, gray underscore pass v1. I'll keep the uh, JPEG here. And for resolution, I'm going to go in and uh, add three times the HD resolution. So it's, in fact, I think uh, twice the resolution should be just enough. So I'm going to go into my width here, and it's going to be 3840. And for the other side will be 216. Well, in this case, it added an extra pixel, but it should have been uh, 2160. But that should do just fine. And I'm just going to click render. And it's going to take a little while. So that is done. Uh, next thing I want to do is I'm just going to go into my library here, go into my materials, and I'm just going to start looking through the materials to apply for my axe. So as you can see, uh, Keyshot has quite a few materials to play around with. But I'm going to start with metal here. And I'm just going to drag that onto the uh, axe. As you can see, it added the uh, metal all the, all around. So let's just control Z that. I'm going to go into my projects here. And I'm just going to find my axe here. And I'm just going to go in and drag that onto the axe itself. So that's a bit too shiny. I'm just going to go ahead downwards and just play around with different materials here. I can hide the projects folder for now. And I'm looking for something that is sort of more, uh, sort of, I guess, more dark looking. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Now, I'm not worried too much about how it looks at this point because I'm also going to be using the uh, other render passes to combine with it. So I'm just trying to find sort of a great looking uh, metal that would work for me at this point. So I'm just going to try this one here. That one actually looks pretty good. I'm just going to try this one. So uh, I can go into colors here and just sort of pick uh, between the colors. I can add black. It actually looks pretty good. But perhaps I'll just keep gray for now. Um, I'm going to go into my uh, wood 
uh, texture now. I'm just going to go into projects again. Select the wooden bits. Just going to apply that here. I'm going to hide the projects again. So I wouldn't think that textured wood would be a good idea. So I'm just going to try some different uh, combinations here. I don't want anything too glossy. Uh, perhaps a darker wood. Maybe um, this one here. It's a bit too uh, too glossy, I think. Let's try this one. Um, perhaps we can go for more of a plastic look. If we go down, something like this. It's a bit too dark. That looks pretty good here. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to use this shader for now. And for the uh, fabric here, I can go into uh, fabric or uh, cloth and leather here. And let's just try this red one over here. Oh, it looks pretty good. I actually gonna think I'm going to use that. Let's just play around with other ones. I didn't envision the uh, cloth to be quite reddish. So let's give that a go. I'm just going to go ahead and render this out. So I'm going to put a uh, matte pass for material. Uh, V1. And I'm just going to render that out. And this is done now. So I'm going to go ahead and create some new passes. Next pass I want to do is I just want to use the uh, velvet red here. And I'm just going to apply it to all of the meshes. I want to create a sort of uh, Fresnel effect pass. Looks pretty good. And that sort of would go for nice highlights and stuff like that. So I'm just going to render that. And I call it uh, uh, Fresnel Pass 01. Just going to render that. That worked out pretty well. So the next pass I want to do is I want to create an ambient occlusion pass. So I'm going to go into my environment here. And as you can see, I already imported this uh, white uh, background here, which you can find in colors as well in the projects folder. And I'm just going to apply that to the background. And what that will do, it will cast the light from all around the mesh. I'm going to go into my materials here. And I'm going to go into uh, miscellaneous. And just going to apply matte gray to all of the parts. And I'm going to go into colors and just going to turn them into white. It's pretty good. And I'm just going to render that. And that looks pretty good. And the last pass I want to make is I want to make uh, alpha passes. So I'm going to go in here and um, just going to undo until the lighting is back. And what I want to do now is I'm going to go into materials here and I'm just going to add flat gray onto the entire mesh. And then I'm going to go into colors and I'm just going to grab red, green, and blue for different parts of the mesh. Just going to render that out. And that's pretty much it. In the next lesson, I want to go into Photoshop and start combining those passes and get it to the final stage.